In this tip of the day, let's take a look at one CNC smart projection. Now, smart projection is the ability to take wireframe geometry and project it flat to a construction plane or project wireframe geometry flat to a particular Z level or to take wireframe geometry and project it onto a 3D surface. Let me give you a couple of examples. Let's say for this part we want to run a 3D planar toolpath on this surface right here. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to contain the toolpath to a boundary. And we're going to say that this boundary runs right along the edge of the surface. Well, the first step is to create the boundary. We can quickly do that by going into the Command Manager, selecting Model Tools, and Extract Surface Edges. I'm going to left-click the surface, right-hand mouse click, and you can see that blue geometry runs right along the edge of the surface. Well, that's looking good, but lots of times one CNC would like a nice flat boundary. Well, we can easily take that boundary we've just created and project it flat while maintaining the proper shape that we're going to need for the toolpath. Let's demonstrate. Let's select the blue geometry. We're going to select by color, and we're going to select the blue geometry just like that. That looks very good. I'm going to head back over to the Command Manager, and inside Model Tools, third down is Smart Projection. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that selected geometry and we're going to project it flat to a Z position of zero. We don't need to make a copy, so we'll leave that unchecked and we'll click OK. And there you go. Now we can see that that geometry has been projected flat. Now what's really powerful about this, if I quickly go to a top view, you can see that one CNC has maintained the shape, but now the boundary is flat. Very nice. So let's apply the toolpath real fast here. We'll head over to the Command Manager, go into our Planar Finish command. I'm just going to use the default values here. We have a, looks like we have a 3 8 ball end mill. Speeds and feeds look fine for this example. We'll click Next. That looks good. Our toolpath angle looks great. Our step over at 30 thousandths. I'm going to say all this looks fine. We'll click Next on that. We're going to use boundary type picked because I want to pick that boundary we just projected flat. We'll click finish. Left click our flat boundary, right hand mouse click, and there we go. So there's the toolpath now being contained by that boundary, and that boundary has been projected flat using that very powerful smart projection. Let me give you another example. Let's undo our boundary there, and let's do this. Let's turn on our text layer. And here we have some text, and the text is flat at the moment. If I quickly go to, let's say, a left view, you can see our text is flat. Well, let's say that I want to do some 3D engraving on the face of the part, and I want to engrave that text. Well, it would be nice if I could take that text and project it onto the surface. That's easily accomplished by Smart Projection. So let's select our layer that contains the text. Just going to left click that. That looks great. Back over to the Command Manager. We're going to go back into our model tools, smart projection. This time we're going to take that selected geometry and we're going to project it onto a surface. So we're going to left click surface, click OK, take my cursor, left click the surface, and there we go. There's our text. It's been projected onto the surface. Again, if I go to a top view, you can see that the text has maintained its shape. And now if we want, we can apply toolpath. However, for engraving, one CNC is going to take the ball in mill and take the very tip of it and drive it on this 3D text. So why don't we select the text and drop it down in Z maybe a couple of thousands. So I'm going to select the text, head up here and grab our move command, and let's move the text down, how about minus two thousands. I'll say that looks good, so we'll click OK to that. Very good. Let's head over here and turn the other layer off and we're going to go into our stock tool paths and let's use the engrave all 3D command. That looks great. Now we're using an eighth inch diameter ball end mill. Our speeds and feeds look great. Let's click next on that. Our clearances look fine. We'll click next on that. That looks great. We'll hit finish and there we go. Now let's turn our original part back on and why don't we take this into simulator and see how this looks. Let's go to simulate and we're going to use the solid model I created a little bit earlier for our simulation. So I'll click OK to that. And here we go. So here's the 3D text being engraved. All of this made possible by the very powerful Smart Projection. It's a very versatile tool provided by 1CNC. Thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.